Is this snow or sleet or hell or what? I don't know. Look at the ground. I thought it was springtime. It was. It was 80 degrees two days ago. All right, so I'm over here at Jamie's. One, I needed to borrow this bit. Yep, there you for go. For the hinges. Two, we did some game planning, so we'll talk about whatever all this is later. It's pretty fancy. But, uh, the drawings. Yeah. I don't know why you don't sketch up this thing, man. Well, I'm going to now after you, you should. You told me all this because I got to make sure that I actually understand what it is. You got it. You so just I'll, sketch it all up. It'll all yeah. it'll, it's all coming together now. Exactly. Yeah. And then I need to borrow some clamps. So okay, take all the red ones. That's your best bet for getting a good square door. Jason's not here this week. He's in Orlando on spring break with his family, which reminds me I need to have kids so that I can get a spring break. But I do have Coda help me. Go to sit. Shake, spin, speak. Good girl, come here. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, we gotta keep rolling with the cabinets though. The only thing I have left to do is the doors. And once I'm done with them, I'm officially done with the cabinets. I mean, really all she's good for is just eating wood. So she's not gonna be much help. The first thing I did was get all the measurements for each door that needed to be built. For now I'm just measuring the outside of all the face frames because I was going to do the math later to make sure I took off enough for the quarter inch reveal around each face frame to match the lower cabinets. I was going to also do the math later on the cabinets that had double doors. Now that I've got all of my measurements figured out, the first step that I'm going to do is take this oak right here and rip it down to an inch and seven eighths. Now I need a lot of pieces of this stuff. This is going to be the border around our doors, which is the same width as the drawer fronts. I bought these boards about a month before I started actually making the doors, and I'm not sure why I thought that I had enough, but I didn't. So I had to make about an hour and a half long round trip to Lowe's to get some more wood. I have all the styles cut. The next step is to cut all the rails, but one thing that I need to do first is add an inch and a quarter to each side. That is because I forgot to factor in the tenon that is gonna go on each one. So I am doing a mortise and tenon joint on these frames. I forgot to mention that earlier, and I'm also gonna try to do them with the tools that I have. There will be a void at the ends of each one because I'm just gonna run it through the table saw and to try to start and stop each piece precisely would be pretty hard. I'm just gonna fill it in with wood filler later, so it'll be fine. So after adding an inch and a quarter to just the rails, it was time to cut both the styles and the rails down to what I hoped was their correct lengths. It is now time to switch out the table saw blade for the dado set. The first set of blades that I'm gonna switch it out to is a quarter inch. I received this eight and a quarter inch dado stack from Dewalt, which saved me from having to run the boards through the table saw multiple times to get that quarter inch space. Now that we have all of the grooves cut in for the panels that's gonna go into each frame, the next step is to come over here to the drill press, which I already have set up for all the mortises that I'm gonna have to drill. So this isn't the best setup for it, but it'll work. Jamie gave me this drill press about a year ago, and this was my first time using it. Pretty much I had to drill out the mortise by plunging the bit multiple times until it cleared the opening for the tenon to fit. And this was about the time when things started to go south for this project. So I think my motor overheated. It's, uh, it's struggling right now. Plus this is hot back here and it's always something, dude. I've only got, well, I don't even have half of these things done. This is taking a really long time. But while I allow this to cool off, hopefully that's the problem. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to cut all the tenons. To cut the tenons, I increased the size of the dado stack to 3 eighths of an inch because that's all my table insert would safely allow. I set the fence so that it wouldn't cut greater than an inch and a quarter and used the miter gauge as a sled to make sure I was nice and square, moving the piece until one side was done. Then I would roll the piece and repeat the process. It was a lot of repetition, but at least it wasn't as bad as drilling all the mortises. I have all my tenons done. Let's see if this thing works. No. It's 
been like 30 minutes since I let it cool off and I don't know if it's gonna work. So we might have to resort to another plan. Let me look into that. I finally got all of these drilled, but I had to go over to Jamie's to do that because this machine is still, it's just, it's just not working right. And it kind of smells weird. Does it? Yeah. Like electrical burning? Something, yeah. Oh, I had to clean my lens real quick, so. Do I look better? Yep, you look w way better. <laughs> I mean, not that you looked bad before. I mean, it. I j I'm it's gonna okay. shut up. Just, I'm yeah. just gonna shut up. So anyway, we have all of the pieces done and I recruited Becca to come and help me so that we can just bang all this out because the next step is to put all the plywood into these. So one thing that I did do is I went ahead and built one of these, okay? So I wanted to make sure that all of my math was correct. I went ahead and put the hinges in just to make sure it fits and at least one of them worked. So as long as all of my masks were correct in building all of them in the process of how I came with all that maths, everything should be good. So we're just gonna go with that. I know I just ran you through like all of the process of what we were gonna do, but I forgot there's one thing that we we actually need to do real quick. Okay. Okay, so we actually need to drill the holes for all of these hinges. Oh, that's gonna be more messy <coughs> though, isn't it? No, it's not. It's actually pretty okay. simple. So <laughs> one thing that I did buy, because that died and I didn't wanna actually do this over at Jamie's as well, was this Craig jig for drilling the hinges for the holes. Should be super quick, okay. super simple. All we are going to do is what we did over here on this side, which is it's already got spots where you can set where you're gonna line everything up. So we're gonna put this on each one like that. We're gonna line up this edge over here with the outside and then uh, clamp it down. Choo, 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 choo. Do the same thing over here. Choo, 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 choo. And uh, th bam, we'll have or two holes for that so no math right no math there's an, i've already pre-math all of this so here is what your super important job is going to be okay what i'm gonna need you to do is so i've i've got all of these stacked up each stack is a door this is a door as well so what i need you to do is just find one of these pieces right here one of these pieces that already has the mortise drilled, mm -hmm. okay? Not the tenon side, but the mortise side, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to give it to me. No, I can do that. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're doing great already. Thank you. <laughs> so important. <laughs> One thing to make note of is that if you are buying hinges, they do make different ones depending on the overlay of the door. Because I wanted a quarter inch reveal and my frames were an inch and seven eighths, I needed one and three eighths overlay hinges, which surprisingly I found on Amazon. Oh, lens is dirty again. I think it's clean. Okay. I, we could have done this later. It's just, I think it's a lot easier to do it whenever it's just like, oh, grab this piece, drill the hole, versus grabbing the whole door. Right. The next step, why don't you explain what we're doing? Oh my goodness, okay, well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I probably got myself in enough trouble this episode. We are setting up the doors and line them up like this. And then what we need to do is we need to measure for the plywood that's gonna go inside. And Ray has already done all the math for that. We have to measure right here. And then he has to do like, numbers and stuff yeah so uh, sorry i'm not trying to interrupt you but you're not letting me explain because i'm not uh, okay. explaining I'm it sorry. Good all right go ahead go ahead go ahead well so we have to measure this yeah and this yeah and then you're gonna do some math which i'm sure in your voice so it's like seven sixteenths you have to add on to it's a lot of reasons why but you just do and then we measure out and by we i mean you measure out the plywood and cut it and then I will glue and assemble it and then together we'll clamp it and then it will dry and then we'll see if you did it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah, that's right. So 
when we are measuring, uh, we are measuring whatever this opening is right here, and then we're gonna add 7 sixteenths to that. The reason we're adding 7 sixteenths is these grooves are supposed to be a quarter inch deep, so that would be a half to each, or quarter to each side, which would be a half total. But we wanna make sure that the plywood doesn't cause the frame to stick out. So we're taking a 16th off just to play it safe. The only thing that really matters is that the plywood is inside these grooves. It doesn't have to be super tight, although if it is tight, it's better. So we glued everything up, cut the pieces, and put them together. We made sure that after adding the clamps that we checked for square and only had to do that 12 more times, which took a while. So it's 9.30 at night. Yeah. Uh, we've been working on these for probably about three hours. And Dakota Lord. just chunks a rock and walks oh all over gosh, them. Oh my gosh, no! What are we to do? Dakota, <laughs> stop! Anyway, all, these are all of our doors. Uh, we kind of have them laying on the floor because I don't have really anywhere else to put them. And we're calling it a night tonight. So. Next step is to uh, pretty much paint them. So I think they're good. I think they're fine. I think oh, you guys heard it. <laughs> you should just go. You know what the sad them. thing is? Is that in all of this, I'm not worried about <laughs> satisfying you. I'm worried about satisfying everybody watching these videos oh. <laughs> and judging me on how well I'm doing this or how well I'm not. So I think this is the new style right here. Just it's yeah, rustic with the excess core, showing and everything. Renovation. Yeah. yeah, I mean this. I mean, who doesn't want to stare at that guy on their cabinets all the time? <laughs> you know.